Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we set up the basic architecture and created a projects page. Next, we want to build a projects detail page where a user can click the respective project and dive into the details page. So the detail page will consider, consist of the plans, the tasks, and the user that is assigned the tasks. Let's add a new page and use an ex existing template. So let's browse around for one. And let's repurpose um, an pro existing project dashboard. So let's click this one and call it project detail. And here there's all these information that are slightly not relevant for us. So we will change it according to our requirements. Let's delete this find search bar and let's change this to milestone. Um, this will be our front end view of full plan and let's add a task title and subsequently let's delete this um, introduction up top. Oops, um, so this is, we should be deleting the row. So this looks good. Also deleted uh, one of the container for the milestone because when we generate um, the list view, it will automatically populate um, everything in the list. So let's also quickly format this container to remove the shading. Let's also quickly edit the task view. So for the today's view and upcoming view and a completed view, let's quickly remove all the irrelevant information. Uh, let's remove in progress from the upcoming view because we won't have that um, functionality and just delete all these uh, cards that we don't need because when we generate the list view, it will automatically generate for us. Let's delete the completed date. Um, and quickly format this to the right. And for the today's view, let's also delete in progress and also delete the second, second um, container. Let's also quickly add a floating action bar that allows a user to add a task. Um, so the design is a dark gray with a plus. So let's keep it consistent. Uh, let's add the icon, the plus icon. So the plus icon. And let's change this to white and the background to that, uh, not light gray, the dark gray we used previously. Oh, that looks exactly right. I've also quickly added a floating action bar to add a milestone. So this allows the user to add milestone plan goals to the app. Uh, next, we want to connect the milestones to the app. So let's quickly click on the list view, um, go to backend query, add a backend query, um, query collection, plans, and I'm going to get the list of documents. And you can see here it's generated um, the list of scrollable milestones. Next, let's quickly configure the title and the goal. So go to plans document and select the respective fields. Um, so let's format the due date to be um, similar. So October and then date and then year. Next, we'll duplicate this and add um, the milestone goals. So we'll go to plans document and then detail. Let's also quickly change the task view. So I'm not a big fan of having today upcoming completed. So let's simplify this to just have two. So let's delete the today's tab and change upcoming to not completed, which is the inverse of completed. So we're making it very simple to match our backend, which has a completed flag. So let's change this to um, not completed. Now let's add uh, the backend connection to the task, to, to the not completed task. So let's go to backend query, um, query collection, task, and we need to add a filter first filter we need is going to be the completed flag, not equals, oh, equals to false. 
that means it has not been completed. And then I'm going to do the reverse for the completed. So let's go to the completed list view, add a backend query, and then add task and filter for completed flag equals to true, which means the task has been completed. Oh, we also need to filter for the specific project. Uh, so one thing I forgot is to set a parameter for the page so we know what project this page um, relates to and what project these tasks relates to. So let's quickly add a page parameter so we can go to the page itself and up top we'll add page parameter and let's call it project ref. I'm going to have a document reference of type projects. So confirm. Now let's go back to our task background query. So let's jump to this one, the not completed one edit the background query, add an extra filter for the specific um, project. So let's go to um, where the project is equal to the project ref in our page parameter. Confirm. Now let's do the same for the completed list view. So here we're going to add the backend query, um, task, list of tasks. The first filter will be the completed flag equals to true and the second filter will be the project ref equals to um, the project ref parameter confirm let's do the same for the milestone because we previously forgot to have a filter for the project itself so let's go back to the list view for the milestone edit a background query we will add a filter where the project ref is equal to the page parameters project ref. We will also sort our tasks. So let's go back to the list view of the not completed task. Um, at, at a backend query, the ordering. So let's order by due date of increasing. So what's coming up to be that needs to be done as soon as possible. Let's also do the same for the completed task. Um, so let's add an ordering where we're going to order by due date and we will order it by um, decreasing. So from latest to earliest. Now let's quickly also deploy the new five store indexes. Um, I don't worry too much about the delete user reference. Um, that's um, not important right now. So let's go back to the app. Next, let's add a checkbox that allows a user to check whether the task has been completed. So let's select the row for, uh, with the due date information and then add a checkbox. Let's also do this for the completed um, checkbox. So it allows us to, uh, user to uncheck a completed um, task. So I'll just quickly copy and paste uh, the checkbox within this uh, row. So right click on the row and then press paste. Cool. Now let's go back to not completed um, and change all these screen elements which we have been configured. So let's change the text for this. Um, the text is going to be from our task document, task title, and then the detail will be task document, task detail, and the due date. It's going to be class task document due date. Let's format the due date to have the month, the date, and the year. And then this checkbox, um, firstly, the value of the checkbox will be based on whether it's completed or not. So true or false in the back end. So we already have that as a Boolean. So let's go to the task completed flag that we have configured. Now, let's also do the same for the completed task. Similarly, task title, and then also task detail, and the checkbox is gonna be from um, 
the task documents completed flag as well. Let's add um, for not completed task, the who is, who is responsible for the job, so the assignee. Um, so let's add a text that says uh, who's responsible. Let's quickly drag this up. In order to get the user display name, we need to add a backend query document from reference of users because we're looking for users and the user ref is going to be based on the task document task assignee reference because that in our database is who is responsible. So now we have information to add the display name. Next, uh, let's quickly drag this up to make it better and let's quickly format the display name to be um, add some padding and then also the color of it to match um, the task detail. So it's using kind of, let's use a small font. Great, now that's done. Let's add an action for the checkbox, allowing a user to flag whether it's completed or not. So by default, it's a false. So what we need to do is update the document for this specific task. So update document, task document, um, task document reference. Field we want to update is the completed flag. Um, set to true. Let's also add a completed date for so we know when the task is completed. So let's go to um, our back end and let's add a completed date field of type date time. Now let's go back to the action for the checkbox. So open the checkbox and let's also update the completed date to be um, from variable current time. Now let's go to uh, our completed task and let's change the sorting to be sorted by completed date. So we're gonna, so we know when it was completed from latest um, to the earliest. And let's also quickly deploy our Firestore indexes because it has changed from due date to completed date. Next, let's add when it was completed. So let's go to the row and add a new text. We're going to drag it in front of the checkbox and let's format um, to be apart from each other. So the text we need to format is going to be, um, let's combine it to say completed and then the completed date that will be captured in the back end. Um, so also format it to month, date and year. So here it will say when it was completed. This covers the current lesson on designing and configuring the details page. The next lesson will cover on how to add a milestone. Remember to subscribe to keep updated.